question. Let's get more reaction now on all that from New York and speak to Akila Radha Krishnan, president of the Global Justice Center. What is your sense of what America, with this new president uh, in post, can now do, given the huge support for the Myanmar military from China? I think it's going to be really important to see states like the United States take leadership in the UN Security Council and show forcefully that this is something that the international community, as others have been talking about, is going to respond to. I think we've seen weak leadership, frankly, and kowtowing to the Chinese by the international community continually since the transition, but in particular since the Rohingya crisis. And so I'm hopeful that there's going to be a shift in approach uh, here. And, and specifically, what are we talking about? Are we talking about sanctions from you know, the US and from the EU? And would they have any real impact? Well, the US already has some sanctions against some of the military leaders that we're talking about, including Min Aung Lang. Um, so I think that we should be looking at a more concerted effort, absolutely a targeted sanctions. Um, UN human rights experts have continually called for the financial isolation of the military, which has not been done. I mean, I think we should remember that the, those we're seeing from the military who are in power were those who are holding positions of power under the Aung San Suu Kyi government in their own way. And so, you know, this is not a drastic shift. These aren't new people. These are people who are familiar and these are people who've been complicit and actively committing mass atrocities over the last few years. Is it realistic, though, for, for example, a new, you know, Joe Biden administration to take on China in any, in any, you know, really concerted way over Myanmar, given all the other pressures that America on its own is now facing? I think that's a really valid question. I think that's why this is something that we need to see a, you know, a group of allies acting together. I don't think that this is one that's just for the United States. The UK holds an incredibly important position. They have just taken over leadership of the Security Council yesterday. And so they will actually be the ones who are leading efforts and hold the leadership position in the Council on Myanmar. So we're going to be looking for leadership and strong action from a range of states on the Council, not just one. How, how difficult is it to, going to be, do you think, to get information on the ground from, you know, from inside the country now, given these huge clampdowns that we've seen already in terms of how people might be affected, if there are protests, how, you know, how the military then react to that? I think that's certainly one of the concerns that we're tracking and, and seeing what's going on. You know, Internet shutdowns have been used as a tool by Myanmar's government in places like Rakhine State and in other ethnic states over the last few years, specifically to suppress the information that's coming out about atrocities. And so I think that it's something for us to be concerned about. It's something for us to make sure that we're monitoring and making sure that journalists are staying safe and being able to transmit information as well as individuals. And, and, and how are you getting your information from inside the country? Um, we are talking to a range of activist partners that we're working with. We're monitoring the situation in, in multiple ways and, and looking to see what's happening. And as well, you know, there's, there's a fair, fair bit of information that's coming out on social media by those who are in the country and who are reliable trackers of what's going on. OK, Akila Radha Krishna, president of the Global Justice Centre, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much.